is it possible to convert an iFlow in in PI 731 uh, an iQOO to an iFlow in PI 731? Uh, this I'm not sure. At least in the the newer releases, you would be able to uh, to see it and experience it. Um, oh, and yeah, I've I've seen a lot of people that have challenges with uh, iFlows on before 7.5, so most of the cases it will work out okay, but in some cases you may find out that it is giving some, some problems and um, you want to figure out how do we deal with these things. So in your... Uh, I'm not sure if it is on 7.31 if you have this tool or if it's added in some support package, but I believe there is... Um, Import functionality, um, generate iFlows, uh, integrated configurations. Uh, so here you can just see what are the the iFlows that exist on this system, and you can see one of these. These are generated by uh, ERT, um, so they don't have an iFlow. Um, so we just create them directly so you can just do follow the, the guide um, move into a specific folder um, that's okay and then it will create an iFlow for this called testing and you can obviously rename this and place it wherever you want uh, to to do but in 731 I don't recommend that. Um, I, yeah, if it works, it's it's fine, but don't expect it to to work on all cases. And then, sorry, I was not sharing the screen on the, the video. So uh, if you want to import an iFlow, you simply just go to uh, integrated configuration, select the iFlow you want uh, to import or iFlows, go next. You get the uh, iFlow name, so we just created number one. So we will create testing two. And then you can simply just say activate on deployment or deploy and then run finish. And once it, it runs, it will have converted this. If obviously we were able to, to run this uh, correctly and uh, completed with error and then you can view the log and see what it, what it, there's there is wrong with this it's an option but as said before 731 don't try to do it it's just uh, too complicated to do it there